Well, cuckoo ka Mr. Robinson. Hello, Ken. Hey, it's Scott at Rainier Studios. How's the cardboard? Great. Doing any skiing out there in Colorado? Yeah, I haven't been out this year. Uh, we got plenty of snow, but the resorts here are way understaffed. Yeah, I know. Hey, did you see my boy Nick Gepper won silver again in slope style? Yeah. Yeah, man, good talking to you. All right. Okay, bye. Oh, wait, wait, Ken. I almost forgot. I've got a Jackie Robinson card to sell you. Yeah, it's a 97 Denny's 3D card. It's super cool. Easily worth um, $800. No? All right, all right. How about $42? That seems fitting, right? You've seen my negotiating skills before, huh? Okay, $42 and I'll throw in a Jackie marker doodle. All right, sweet. Thanks, Ken. Ski boot phones are heavy. Hey, superstars, welcome back to the quest for my holy grail card. This is my series where I'm trying to sell off worthless cards for exorbitant amounts of money so that I can eventually buy my grail card, a T206 Cy Young portrait. But to make it work, I'm including some original art. Today, we're drawing Jackie Robinson from my pal Ken from Ken's Cardboard. Ken could have gone in many different directions. He collects Rockies, Pete Rose, Bo Bichette, but I'm glad he went with Jackie because Jackie is so cool and Ken's really cool and I'm very uh, uncool. So drawing Jackie for Ken automatically makes me just a little cooler. Or at least I think that's how that works. I don't need to talk too much about Jackie because he's such a legend. Um, I do think that it was interesting that he was selected by Branch Ricky to break the color barrier because of his demeanor and willingness to stay calm and turn the other cheek when things would inevitably get ugly. Uh, Josh Gibson and Satchel Paige were considered better, more polished players, but Jackie was the right man for the job. And then the decision to let Jackie get his feet wet in the minors with the Montreal Royals proved to be a good one. It wasn't without complications by any means, but Jackie could play integrated baseball out of the Brooklyn spotlight and get a taste of what he was in for. By contrast, Larry Doby went straight to the majors and struggled quite a bit in 1947. While Jackie hit 297, led the league in stolen bases, and went on to win Rookie of the Year. He was able to perform quite admirably while putting up with uh, blunt racism, segregation, and barbaric taunts and threats from fans and opposing teams. But the men who played alongside him, and many were resistant at first, saw firsthand the ignorance and oppression that he had to deal with. Uh, Jackie earned their admiration and respect and unified them as a team. And wherever the Dodgers went, fans showed up in the stands. I feel like when I write a script for a video like this, I'm kind of like writing a high school paper. I am no Jackie expert, nor do I claim to be, but uh, I do want to maintain a certain level of reverence and respect, but my job is to entertain, so that means it's time for a terrible joke. Jackie and the Dodgers won the World Series in 1955. Right after the series, he did an interview with a reporter who asked him if he had any children. Jackie said, yeah, I got three kids, nine, five, and three. The reporter looked puzzled and responded, well, those are weird names for kids. I think it was kind of fitting that I did this one during Black History Month. I didn't really plan it that way, it just kind of happened. But I'm glad I did. Uh, Jackie played during a very divisive time in American history and it took a lot of guts and courage and self-restraint for everyone involved to bring about change. I assume baseball integration was an impetus for a lot of Americans to change their mind about race equality. And there I go, sounding like I'm giving a high school report again. There's Jackie looking ready to clobber a baseball with his constrained anger. Two blips closer to my Cy Young card today. Thanks, Ken, for asking me to do this one. It was an absolute pleasure. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. And we'll catch you next time.